Hello everyone, welcome back to Spectrum Classes. This is my another video on the topic term symbols and here in this video, I am going to discuss with you how to write the P2 and D2 term symbols without writing their microstates. For P2 configuration 15 and for D2 configuration 45 microstates possible. This is an alternative scheme and it is known as Brits scheme. So through this bridge scheme, how one can write the term symbols for P2 and D2 configurations. So it is easy and it is little tricky. So let's start with the video. For this P2 configuration, we are having the ML values for first electron equal to 1, 0 and minus 1. And similarly for second electron, ML values are 1, 0 and minus 1. So, how we are using these ML values in this Brittis? So, first draw this kind of structure, right? And in this structure, first write the ML values for electron number 1. So, suppose this is my electron number 1 and it has ML values 1, 0 and minus 1. So, I have to write all these values on this horizontal line. For the second electron, I have to write all these values in the vertical column. So here ML values for the second electron I have written like this. Now how we are going to move further. So in the next step what we need to do we will take the first value here. So take the first value and add this first value to this. So 1 plus 1 will give us 2. This is the ML value. The second one here it is 0 to this 0 add this plus 1 so we will get 1 for the next one we are getting the 0 value because here we are having 1 with plus 1 so plus 1 minus 1 gives us 0 similarly in the second row we are adding the 0 on adding the 0 we will get the same values 1 gives 1 0 gives 0 and minus 1 gives minus 1. for the third row what we need to do we need to add this minus 1 to all these values so plus 1 and minus 1 will gives us 0 0 minus 1 on adding these two we will get minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 will gives us minus so i hope guys how to write this structure you easily understand right so this first step is done now the second step what we have to do we have to draw such type of line to identify different sets of ml so here for this ml we are having 2 1 0 minus 1 and minus 2 values for the ml so from this we can draw the maximum value of L. So here the maximum value of L is 2 for this set, for this set, right? And what we need to do, this L is equal to 2 and for this set L maximum value of L is equal to 1 and for this set maximum value of L is equal to 0 and corresponding to this 0 we are having S, P and D states here i have written all these right so i hope up to this level you understand now coming to the multiplicity what will be the value of s so to determine the value of s we are having a the first electron is having up spin plus half and second electron is again having up spin right so there are two possibilities one is both are in up spins and the second possibility either of the electron is with down spin so if both are in plus spin they will give us one value and if they are in opposite spin they will give us zero either you can calculate in this manner or we can calculate by using the formula capital s that is total spin angular momentum is equal to s1 plus s2 to s1 minus s2 so s1 plus s2 gives us 1 and s1 minus s2 will gives us 0 if i subtract 1 minus 1 it gives me 0 so no other value is in between so in this manner we are having 1 and 0 values for this s corresponding to this s we are calculating the spin multiplication 
here I am showing you the multiplicity. So corresponding to this S, the multiplicity is 3 and corresponding to this S is equal to 0, we are having the multiplicity equal to 1. These three states are there. So we are going to assign the 3 and to which we are going to assign the 1. That is only the tricky point for this. So here I have drawn this blue line on the diagonal of this structure. Right. Why I have done this? So I explain it with this example. Suppose I am having this p orbital and it has ml value this, this and this. Right. Now what does it mean 2? 2 means both the electrons are in this orbital. Electron number 1 and electron number 2 both are in. Right. Only then we are getting the value of ml is equal to plus 2. Okay. If I am having both the electrons in up spin. Is it possible? Because it these two up spin gives us ms is equal to plus 1. And corresponding to this, we are having multiplicity 2s plus 1 is equal to 3. So, for this two set of ml, is it 3 possible? You just tell me after seeing this. So, this is not possible. Similarly, for the second set, of p orbital if both the electron up spin in 0 it is again not possible and similarly if we are having both the electrons up spin in the third orbital which corresponds to this minus 2 value it is again not possible so that is why i diagonally cut down the values for this s is equal to 1 is not possible this corresponds to the multiplicity 2s plus 1 is equal to 3 i hope you understand that so, corresponding to these diagonal values, maximum value or the up spin for both the electron is not possible. And if this S is not possible for these, so this three multiplicity is also not possible. Now, how we are going to decide the value of chi multiplicity where it is possible? So, you just first understand this. It This kind of multiplicity is possible if my both the electrons are up spin here plus 1, 0, minus 1. If these two are, so ml value is equal to 1, plus 1, 0, 1. And ms is equal to plus half, plus half, it gives me 1. So for this set, we are having this spin multiplicity, s is equal to 1. Similarly, this 0 and second set is this 0 and minus 1. Two electrons are present here. And the third set is if both the electron of spin present in plus 1 and minus 1. I am writing here. The second set is this and the third set is here. So only these three values, this ms is equal to 1 is possible. For others, it is not possible. We need not to calculate this. It is just for your understanding. So the easy trick is this. Once you cut down the diagonal, you move to the other elements which are present. Here I have just first written the sets. Here, this is my first set, this is my second set and this is my third set. Here I have written this. Okay. So, no need to worry about this. And corresponding to these sets, we have assigned the states like this. Okay. So, maximum 2, 2 corresponds to D, 1 corresponds to P and 0 corresponds to S. Now, moving further, we are having these values are left. Okay. So, you may have question why I have done this. So, we can also done this in this manner. Right. These two are the reflections of each other. 1, 0, minus 1. Here, 1, 0, minus. If you have this type of values, then you just identify out of these three sets, which set is having these three values. So, only this set is having these three values. So, only for this set, we can assign s is equal to 1 and for this set s is equal to 0 and for this set s is equal to 0 and corresponding to this s is equal to 0 what will be the multiplicity corresponding to this multiplicity is 1 and for this multiplicity 3 so here 1 3 and 1 only this set has this value so in this manner we can assign the term symbol for the p2 configuration so, this is just for your understanding. Otherwise, what you have to do? 
you just simply in the step number one you write the ml values for one electron ml values for the second electron you draw this structure and define the sets cut down the diagonal elements and find the rest of the elements and then identify to which set these three values are matched only to that set we can assign the maximum value of multiplicity which is three rest have the s is equal to zero or the lesser multiplicity only this simple four five steps you need to memorize right Similarly, I am going to write D2 configuration with this bridge scheme. So, for this, what we need to do? First, you just write down for the D orbital. Say, this is my D orbital. And this has values plus 2, plus 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2. And here, you just write down for the first electron, electron number 1. And for the second electron, you just write down in this column. So, and column. The next step is to this E1 add this first element of this electron 2. So 2 plus 2 gives us 4, 2 plus 1 gives us 3, 2 plus 0 gives us 2, 2 minus 1 gives us 1 and 2 minus 2 gives us 0. Similarly to this second row we add this. So we get these many values and the third row we are adding to this set, this set. We are adding 0 and in for the next row we are adding this and for the next row we are adding this and we get this structure. We are having S is equal to either 0 for 2 electrons or it is 1 and corresponding to that multiplicity. The next step is we are cut down the diagonal elements as I told you. Now reason I have elaborated for the P2 configuration. So for D2 set again we are cutting down this diagonal elements because for this maximum uh, multiplicity that is 3 for this s is equal to 1 is not possible for these diagonal elements now what the next step you need to do you need to identify the next steps which are possible for this set so here five steps are possible first is this one here this one 4, 3, 2, 1 this and second is this third is this fourth is this ml Fifth is this M, right? And we I have written all these five steps. The next step I have to identify the rest of the elements which are present above this diagonal. So these are the elements which are present above this diagonal. And if we I see the reflection, so these are the same values, right? So in this manner I have this. Now identify in which set out of these five set in which set this value is present. 3, 2, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So that is present for the second set. And the second value, 1, 0, minus 1 is present for the fourth set. So these two sets had the maximum value of S is equal to 1, that is multiplicity. So for this, we are having 3 multiplicity. And for this set, we are having multiplicity. And for rest, we are having 1 multiplicity. Fine. So in this manner you can identify the multiplicity and you can write down the term symbols. Here these are the term symbols as I written here 1, 3, 1, 3, 1. So here are my values and for these I have written the J values. So, so J values are nothing but J is equal to L plus 2, L minus S differing by 1. So this is the easiest one in my opinion. So I hope you find this lecture helpful. And uh, if you find this lecture helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you all. Thanks.